I love the way it came out. It came out perfect. channel my name is Teresa if you're new here welcome if you're returning hey friend today we are going to be doing my first DIY video in this DIY video you are going to be in two DIY projects so I am super excited about how this turned out it turned out very great this project is very affordable it's not labor intensive at all you can do these DIYs with simple tools all the items that I used will be in the links below the first DIY is a bath tray I've been wanting a bath tray for a long time however my tub is 39 inches wide which is now classified as custom based off of what I've been seeing on the market and a hundred plus dollars for a piece of wood I did not think that was cost sufficient therefore I did not purchase I decided to do my version of a bathtub tray it just gives your bathroom a more relaxed luxe aesthetic vibe and that is basically what I was going for I'm gonna go ahead and go over basically what I did to achieve the look that I wanted to go for and let's get to the video Lowe's had a wide variety of items and I'm gonna put on the screen exactly the pieces of wood that I purchased they do cut the boards to your desired measurements so I did get the bears wood stain in the color dark walnut i did go ahead and test it on a piece of wood that i was not using just to make sure that i did like the color so i did have them cut the board into 39 inches wide then i got two small pieces of wood for like stoppers um so that the board is not sliding I got some items from Amazon. All these items will be linked below. I began sanding with the 120 grid sandpaper. Now, there is a guide that you can find on Pinterest regarding what your what sandpaper to use for um, different items. I used the 120. I wasn't taking off any paint or anything like that. I just wanted to refine the wood as well as bevel out the edges. You'll see that I am beveling out the edges on the main bath tray as well as the little pieces or stoppers. I could have sanded the uh, stoppers when it was on the tray. I went ahead and dusted off the wood pieces, make sure all the dust and any residue from the sand machine has been removed. Go ahead and measure where you want your stoppers, in which I already pre-measured based off of my personal bathtub. I went ahead and adhered those legs with Gorilla Glue, but I found that you should let the Gorilla Glue um, set for a couple of minutes so that pieces aren't sliding everywhere when you are hammering it into the uh, main board. You could use mechanical nails. I didn't have that, so I just used um, flathead nails. I bought a small paint brush and now I'm going to get into my wood stain. It applied very easily. I went ahead and applied that in one direction just so that it's not looking um, messy. I just went ahead and applied that. and I made sure that I did an even coat. Now I did go ahead and do one coat of this. If you want to do multiple coats, you can, but I did want that light 
I like the light wood that was underneath it, but I just wanted that slight color being that my bathroom had dark ebony woods. But I did want to have that little, the light wood peek through. Now I did um, apply the stain to the back of the tray, which I found that you should apply it to the um, top of the tray first because as you can see here that it did bleed a little bit it, it brought character to the tray with that mistake and this is the final look it was it looked great I did go ahead and apply some decorative finish wax now all you had to do was just get a nice clean cloth. You can use a t-shirt and just apply the wax on all inches, all areas. As you can see, I absolutely love the product. The product came out so good. I mean, it just brings a different type of aesthetic. It brings something to your bathroom and it is so simple. The second DIY project is a stool that I purchased. I've always wanted this Chinese a stool look, but I did not want to pay the price because those prices are over $200 and I'm not paying that for a wooden stool. So I was just in Home Goods one day and I came across this stool. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it had the bones. It was exactly the shape and what I was looking for, just not the um, color. It had more like a pink. Um, it was just not the color. So what I did was I went ahead and just judged it up a little bit to what I was looking for and that came out perfect. I did not like the white paint that came with the stool, so obviously I went ahead and stripped that off with um, 120, um, the 120 grid sandpaper. Now, I later on found that I should have been using the 60 because it's more grittier. The 60 um, grid sandpaper. So in the middle of the project, obviously I went ahead and um, converted to that. But um, to get the paint off, it came off easily. Just use the 60 grid sandpaper. It would save you a lot of time. So I sanded the top, all the surfaces, just to get rid of that white paint texture that I really did not like. And underneath that paint was exactly what I wanted. That oak light wood. I did decide to distress it. With distressing it, I did utilize some um, metal tools that I got from Amazon and you just attach it to your drill, whichever drill you have, and you can go ahead and distress exactly what you're looking for. Distress it how you want. This is a custom piece and this is a one of a kind piece. So I did not want to distress it too much because I once you distress, you can't revert back. So. I did go ahead and lightly um, go across the surfaces as well as the legs. Look at how it came out. I am so pleased. I am so pleased. You can style this anywhere. You can style it in the bathroom. You can style it in the living room. I um, decided to style it in uh, my living room and put a nice cute book on it with a candle. I did utilize that wax that I did on the first project just to seal everything. just my quick 
DIY project that I am very excited about. I, I love how it came out. It came out so elegant. Next, I'm gonna do how to transform your bathroom because with this, ooh, my bathroom went from basic to <laughs> stylish. So I cannot wait for you guys to see the whole turnout of the bathroom. It came out really good. So that is it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed creating these different projects. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video, especially if you like DIYs, home decor hauls, fashion hauls, all that good stuff, lifestyle content, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.